2021 will welcome the newest expansion team in the PLL, and the legacy continues. What's really good, y'all? Thanks for tuning in for another installment of the Weekly Watch. Happy 2021. Really hoping this year is a better year for everyone all across the sport. And there's some signs of light. There's some good news that we're gonna talk about, but I got my money on this being a better year than 2020 for all of us. But first things first, I gotta shout out the entire lacrosse community one time for how we've come together to support Chris Bocklet in his time of need. So for those of y'all that might not know this already, Chris is actually a former UVA attackman, a national champion, mind you, and he played in both the MLL and the PL. He sustained some pretty serious head injuries in a longboarding accident not too long ago, and Casey Powell actually started a GoFundMe in his name that has over $200,000 in donations. Chris is actually in stable condition now, which is great news, but clearly it's gonna be an uphill battle for both him and his family, and it's just great to see the entire lacrosse community rally around him and the entire Bocklet family during this time. So if you have a second to amplify the message on social and support Chris, head to your social media platform of choice, hit a like, hit a share, hit a retweet, and if you have a dollar, head over to GoFundMe and donate to his recovery. So now that we've covered the most important piece of news, let's go ahead and get to the rest. So as of today, we're about a month out from college lacrosse being back. Man, that feels good to say. Now like, full schedules aren't out yet, we got some things to work out, but look, fingers crossed, it's gonna happen, it's gonna be a better season than 2020. Denver University actually just released some clips of spring practice, so it looks like things are about to get underway pretty much everywhere. Look, man, at this point, after everything that we've been through, I'll take anything to be excited about. But one thing that always gets me super hyped for the lacrosse season coming up every year is the release of the new gear that comes out for every school. Speaking of which, I know it's only the second week of January, but you know who didn't disappoint? Y'all see those high point purple chrome helmets? Dummy flames, bro. Can y'all imagine when they come out with that helmet and the all white get up? Man, you gotta spot them two or three points on the scoreboard just for the uniform alone. So with the season being so close, I know there's all different kinds of storylines floating around in lacrosse news, like, you know, how's Duke gonna do? Is Syracuse gonna return to form? But I wanna see a different conversation down in the comments. Comment down below who you think is gonna have the freshest gear release coming up in January. I think this year is gonna be pretty unique for gear. With a lot of schools changing suppliers and sponsors, we're bound to see some new looks. So let's talk about it. And then aside from college lacrosse, is it ever too early to get excited about the PLL announcing their season for 2021? Didn't think so. So actually pretty great news with the schedule. The PLL is back to touring in 2021. The 2020 bubble was something special, obviously, but I think this is the news everybody wanted to hear for the upcoming season. They're gonna be hitting 11 cities with two playoff weekends, and then the championship game is gonna be on September 19th. So if I were you, I'd stay on the lookout for ticket information because they could be coming to a city near you. I know I gotta find a way to be at at least one of those game weekends. I was at the 2019 All-Star Game, so I watched Paul hit that ridiculous around the world dish to Will Manny like live and in person. That is to this day, the silkiest pass in any sport that I've ever seen live. That was crazy. So yeah, word of advice, if you can get tickets, get tickets. Those people know how to put on a show. So anyway, while I'm on the subject of the PLL, in case y'all haven't seen, the PLL just partnered with Iroquois National Lacrosse to create a bunch of initiatives that bring more awareness to the very roots of the game. I personally love this partnership because for as many people that play lacrosse, a lot of people in the sport aren't really fully aware of the history and the roots of the game, or even that the Haudenosaunee people share that game with us to this day. The game of lacrosse really is a gift. It's borrowed and it's passed on. And that's something that I believe in all the way down to my core. So anything that keeps that mindset front of mind I'm all for that. The partnership will feature things like peer mentorship and cultural awareness training, as well as many different kinds of events and collaborations. Might be something to check out if any of that happens near your hometown. So keep an eye out. All right, so moving on. Y'all see the big news? The Cans LC rebrand? All right, let's keep it real for a second. This rebrand could have gone a bunch of different ways. They could have set out to modernize it, make the font more aggressive, redesign the actual canon. Like, you name it, they could have done something to it. But really though, I'm feeling the rebranded look. They gave the logo that badge style look that all the teams in the PLL have, but they kept all the iconic elements like the cross and cannons and the red lacrosse head in the back. I think they did a good job pushing the cannons into a new era while retaining that classic look. I mean, to me, they could have made the font a little more edgy, but that's just a personal opinion. Overall, I would still give it an A. Look, anyway, what y'all think? Comment down below what you think of the Cannons LC rebrand and what MLL identity you want brought into the PLL fold next. Something already tells me every other comment is gonna be Outlaws LC, but hey, can't knock the fan base for that. Anyways, that's it for me today. College season is gonna be heating up real soon, so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And on your way out, please like this video. It really helps us out a lot. I'll catch y'all on the flip. Later.